friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Man follows frantic cries in woods and discovers a black bear cub in need of saving. Written by Adam Staten, read by Adam Staten. During a hike in Washington State, an author rescued a furry little animal, an American black bear cub, and made a friend in the process. There are several animals that immediately come to mind when thinking of cute, furry, and cuddly. Dogs, cats, rabbits, guinea pigs, and even hamsters fit neatly into that category. However, there are others when keeping a safe distance is the safest route. For instance, a black bear would be one that most people would rather avoid altogether. But for Jonathan Evision, who followed the frantic sounds of a creature crying out in pain, he soon found himself face to face with a baby black bear. And after encountering the animal in distress, Jonathan soon had a best friend. The incident began as Jonathan was enjoying a daily stroll in the woods near the Olympic Mountains in Washington in late April. During that initial hike, Jonathan spotted the furry creature by its lonesome, near a tree sitting in the mud. Mama Bear was nowhere to be found. Understanding the inherent danger that often comes with such a creature, Jonathan made sure to steer clear of the little cub. He went on his way, enjoying his time in the Washington wilderness. However, the next day during his hike, Jonathan began hearing a creature crying out in pain. The author followed the sound, leading him to the same baby bear from the previous day. Jonathan, after assessing the situation, discovered that the animal was stuck. It had somehow managed to get itself lodged underneath a tree. Jonathan assisted the animal and freed the little creature from its predicament. But Jonathan's encounter with the bear was not over. Instead, the bear had thought Jonathan was its new best friend. Once I freed him, he basically attached himself to me. So I walked a mile back to the cabin with the cub either right on my heels or clinging to my ankle, Jonathan said. In a post on Instagram, Jonathan pointed out that he's well aware that his decision to intervene, even under the most dire circumstances, was a controversial one. Jonathan added, I simply made the only decision I was constitutionally capable of making. He mentioned that if he had not acted and the bear had died, the decision would have haunted me for the rest of my days. The West Sound Wildlife Shelter posted on Facebook that the bear received fluids and medical treatment. The bear has since been transferred to another animal shelter that had just gotten another black bear cub. A righteous man regards the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Proverbs 12.10 Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. This is the real story of Candace Douglas. 20 hours a week waiting tables, zero standing in the way of her dream to own a restaurant. I got this. Check, please. Candace was a real student at Central Texas College. In high school, she earned credits from CTC to get a head start in our restaurant and culinary management program. Our flexible schedule allowed her to work while earning her degree. Follow your dream at Central Texas College for students of the real world. Couple expecting twins were terrified when doctor turns to them and says, I'm sorry. Written by Heather Riggleman, read by Adam Staten. Twins born with Down syndrome were what anyone was expecting. When the couple, Matt and Jody Perry, were expecting twins, they were terrified when the doctor turns to them and says, I'm sorry. But these sweet girls are an absolute blessing. When Matt and Jody Perry met their identical twin girls, Abigail and Isabel, for the first time, they were filled with bleak prospects for their future. Doctors told them how difficult it would be to raise two girls with special needs. 
Jody said, I was told the girls had Down syndrome. I was devastated. I felt like someone had just ripped my heart out. She added, But when the girls came home from hospital, it soon became very apparent that apart from a few extra appointments, they were no different to Finley. It would maybe just take them a little longer to do things. Both initially thought the diagnosis was a life sentence, but as their girls grew, they learned how blessed they are to be Abigail and Isabel's parents. To this day, I'll never know what he was sorry for, Jody said, of the doctor's response before the twins were born. If I could ever meet him again, I'd like to show him Abigail and Isabel and say, why did you say sorry? We wouldn't change Abigail and Isabel for the world now. When the girls hit the milestone of turning four, they entered mainstream school with their big brother. Matt said, when the girls were born, we did not know if they would be able to go to a mainstream school. This just shows how far we have come in our own understanding of Down syndrome. We had misconceptions, which a lot of people still have, and that is what we are trying to tackle. Matt and Jody are now advocating for other parents who find themselves raising a child with Down syndrome. They began an awareness campaign in a resource website called The Twincess. There, the parents proudly show what their daughters can do. Rather than focusing on what the twins born with Down syndrome can't do, they showcase what the girls can do. Our aim with setting up Twincess was to show the non-Down syndrome community and people who have never been touched by Down syndrome what people who have the condition can do, Matt said. These precious girls continue to grow and thrive. God knew exactly what he was doing when he blessed this couple with Abigail and Isabel. As a mother to three children with special needs, I thank God every day for the way he created my kids. I imagine Matt and Jody feel the same way about the remarkable twins with Down syndrome. May their light continue to shine for children with special needs, and may we all be reminded Abigail and Isabel were made in the image of God, just like every one of us. What a beautiful family. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Psalm 139, 14. Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. This is the real story of James Powell Jr. 13 years as a military policeman. One college helped him transition to civilian law enforcement. After the Army, James Powell worked as a police officer while earning a criminal justice degree online from Central Texas College. His degree qualified him for pay raises and taught him the constitutional reasons behind the laws he now enforces. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world.